Hey kids, today we will get to know about another wonderful continent, North America. It is the third largest continent in the world. Before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Do you know what a continent is? The entire earth is divided into seven land masses. Each is called a continent. North America is surrounded by Arctic Ocean in the north, Pacific Ocean in the west and south, Atlantic Ocean in the east, and Caribbean Sea in the southeast. A brief introduction about the continent. North America is comprised of 23 countries and 18 dependencies. A dependent territory, dependent area, or dep dependency, sometimes referred to as an overseas territory, is a territory that does not possess full political independence as a sovereign state, yet remains politically outside the control controlling of the state's integral area. It is distributed in the three sub-regions of the continent known as North America, Central America, and the Caribbean. North America has no landlocked country. Canada is the largest country. The United States is the most populated country. Caribbean country of St. Kitts and Nevis is the smallest and the least populated country. Lake Superior is the biggest lake in North America and largest freshwater lake in the world. It is shared by USA and Canada. Missouri River is the longest river in North America. It flows through seven states of the USA and together with the Mississippi River, it forms one of the largest river systems in the world. Greenland is the biggest island in North America. Denali is the highest mountain range in North America. It is located in Alaska, which is in USA. The Rocky Mountains, also known as the Rockies, are a major range and the largest mountain system in North America. During summer, Death Valley is one of the hottest places on Earth. Temperatures reaching more than 55 degrees Celsius. Death Valley's Badwater Basin is the point of lowest elevation in North America at 68, 86 meter below sea level. Yosemite National Park in California Sierra Nevada Mountains is famous for its giant ancient sequoia trees and for the tunnel view the iconic vista of towering Bridal Veil Fall and the granite cliffs of El Capitan and Half Dome. On 1st October 1890, Yosemite became a national park and more than 125 years later, it's still beautiful. North America, the subcontinent. Canada, Mexico, United States of America, and the dependencies of St. Pierre and Miquelon, Greenland, and Bermuda. Canada is the largest country in both Northern America region and North American continent as a whole. It is also the second biggest country in the world after Russia. The smallest territory in Northern America is the French dependency of St. Pierre and Miquelon, which is a small island, Archipelago, in the Gulf of St. Lawrence, just off the coast of the Canadian island of Newfoundland. Canada is a country as diverse in culture as it is, is in immense in size. Multiculturalism is a cherished attribute of Canada and is reflective in the many distinctive communities across the country. Canada has the world's longest coastline. Boreal forests or snow forests prevail throughout the country. The literacy rate is 99% and it is known as the most educated country in the world. 
more than half of all the lakes in the world are located in Canada. Canada also includes two of the biggest lakes in the world, Great Bear Lake and Great Slave Lake. Canada is the third most forested country in the world. About half of Canada's landmass is covered by forest with about 180 species of trees. The $1 coin is called the loonie and the $2 coin is called the toonie. Canada also has the three largest islands of the world, Ellesmere Island, Victoria Island and Baffin Island. Hudson Bay has less gravity as compared to the rest of the world. This is because during the Ice Age, the entire country of Canada was covered by a huge glacier known as the Laurentide Ice Sheet. This particular glacier was so heavy that it squeezed down on the rocks of the earth and held it there. When the ice finally started melting, the earth bounced back, or at least tried to. But it took its own sweet time, which led to the area in Hudson Bay getting a teeny bit messed up. Since the mass of rock decreased, so did gravity. And voila, that's how we got such an irregularity. The international boundary is the border between Canada and the US. It is the largest demilitarized border in the world. This means there is no army standing between the border of Canada and US. Della Falls, British Columbia is the highest waterfall in Canada at around 1,400 feet. Calgary in Canada is well known for its Chinooks, a weather phenomenon that can raise the temperature by 10 degrees in a few minutes. The license plate for cars, motorcycles, and snowmobiles in Nunavut is the shape of a polar bear. Toronto has the longest street in the world, Yonge Street. Liking the video? Wonderful! Please don't forget to subscribe. They say that Mexico is a country no one ever leaves. Even after visitors leave, a part of Mexico remains with them forever. Mexico is situated on the Ring of Fire, the world's most prominent volcano and earthquake region. Over 120 species of cactus are growing in Baja California, a part of Mexico. The Cardin cactus is the world's biggest cactus, around 70 feet in height. The highest peak in Mexico is a volcano. It is called Pico de Orizaba or Volcan Titla de Petel. Chichen Itza, built by the Maya people, is a World Heritage Site and visited by more than 1 million people every year. Acapulco, the bay at the Pacific Ocean, is home to Mexico, Mexico's most popular beach city with golden sandy beaches. Mexico is the country with most Spanish speakers in the world. Mexico also has the most reptile species in the world, housing over 700 reptile species. Mexican kids don't get presents on Christmas, but on Jan 6th, to celebrate the day of the three wise men, who arrived to give gifts to Jesus. The three wise men who were following the star to Bethlehem arrived with gifts for baby Jesus. Now, let's talk about the United States of America. United States of America is a union of 50 states. 49 are located on the American mainland and one state, Hawaii, is located in the Pacific Ocean. In God We Trust is the motto. America has the third highest population in the world after China and India. The only country in the world that has all of Earth's five climate zones is America. Tropical, dry, and temp temperate, continental, and polar are these climate zones.
The current iteration of the American flag was designed by a high school student. The famous Statue of Liberty was a gift from France to the United States and is made up of copper. The only archipelago state in the USA is Hawaii. An archipelagic state is a destination used for a group of island countries. The USA has the world's largest office building by floor area. It is the headquarters of the Department of Defense, the Pentagon. Did you know three out of every four tornadoes that occur in the world happen in the USA? Do you know the name of the tornado that occurred in USA recently? Let us know in the comment section below. The Grand Canyon National Park. Its dusk lighting, its dusk light catching walls display more than 200 billion years of the Earth's geological. Sorry, I meant 2 billion years of the Earth's geological history and it stretches along the Colorado River. Hollywood is globally known as the center of entertainment. Did you know there is a city named Boring and it's in Orrington? I meant Oregon. What a boring name. Alaska has the longest coastline in USA and it borders both Pacific Ocean and Arctic Ocean. Alaska was previously a part of Russia. The Liberty Bell is from London and was made in the same place as the Big Bell. The Liberty Bell, previously called the State House Bell or Old State Bell, is an iconic symbol of American independence located in Philadelphia. The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge spanning, spanning from the Golden Gate, the one-mile strait connecting the San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. The Colonial Creek Falls in Washington State with a height of 2,568 feet, are the highest waterfalls in continental USA. Niagara Waterfall is made up of three main waterfalls. American Falls on the US side, Lacey Bridal Veil Falls on the US side, and the Horseshoe Waterfall on the Canadian side. The Niagara River the three falls originate from this river, which receives water from four other rivers Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, and Lake Erie. And finally, it empties into Lake Ontario. Niagara Falls are the largest in North America by volume and by width. More than 700,000 gallons of water per second pour over Niagara Falls rushing over at about 25 miles per hour. Wow, what a sight. Seeing Niagara Falls is definitely on my bucket list. What about you? Now, let's explore Central America. Joining North and South America is a narrow strip of land known as Central America. Central America consists of Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Panama. Guatemala is the most populous country. Belize is the least popular country. Populous country. Nicaragua is the largest in land area. And El Salvador is the smallest country in Central America by land area. The largest lake is Lake Nicaragua. It is home to sweetwater sharks. Chocolate was used as currency by the ancient Mayas. There are no street names or numbers in Nicaragua. An address is given by whatever major landmarks they live near. Panama is the only country in the world where you can see the sunrise on the Pacific and the sunset on the Atlantic Ocean. 
The Panama Canal is an artificial 82 kilometer long waterway that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. El Salvador went to war with Honduras after a soccer match. Ha ha ha, really? Costa Rica has no standing military. Did you know it was banned in 1949? Belize has the only Jaguar reserve in the world. The Caribbean. The Caribbean consists of Antigua and Barbuda, the Bahamas, Barbados, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba, Dominica, Jamaica, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and 15 dependencies. Whew! These names are no less than tongue twisters. More than 7,000 individual islands can be found in the Caribbean Sea. They are all part of three main island groups. The first group is the Greater Antilles, which consists of the largest Caribbean islands, consisting of the countries of Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican, Dominican Republic and the U.S. Territory of Puerto Rico. Antilles. The Lesser Antilles are the small islands in the south of the Caribbean Sea where you will find countries like Antigua and Barbuda, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Dominica, as well as dependencies like the Virgin Islands, Aruba, Martinique, and Curacao. The third island group is the Lucayan Archipelago, where the Bahamas and the Tooks and Caicos Islands are located. Some facts about the Caribbean countries. Cuba is the biggest island. Over 2,600 feet above the sea level on Dominica, there is a torch of volcanic activity, the Boiling Lake. English sailors needed butter to sail to the Caribbean. An old nautical rule of thumb for navigating to the Caribbean from England was head south until the butter melts, then turn right. Butter. Pretty interesting use for butter, isn't it? One of the hottest peppers, the Scotch bonnet pepper, is also called the Caribbean red pepper because they can be found in many areas throughout the Caribbean. The shortest runway in the world is located on Wancho E.E. Raskin Airport in Sabah. It is just 400 meters long. Jamaica is famous for its banana production. Cuba is the major producer of sugar cake and hence it is called the sugarcane bowl of the world. Wow, what interesting facts those were. We would love to hear from you. You can connect with us via Twitter, email or Instagram. This is America, a brilliant diversity spread like stars like a thousand points of light in a broad and peaceful sky. This was said by George H.W. Bush. If you like the video, please let us know in the comment section below because your word really matters to us. You can also hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Keep watching ISA Kids. We would love to have you on board. And don't forget to check these videos out too.